name's Anna. And my name's Archie. And this is our friend Jo. Hi, Hi Jo! On today's Anna and Archie's broom cupboard, we're going to be making a pair of giant feet. Woo! Cool. Okay, materials for this, please, Archie. Got it. Okay, so what you're going to need, you're going to need some cardboard or some thick paper. Check. You're going to need some colouring equipment. Chalk. You're going to need some scissors. Check. You're going to need some string. Chickity check, check. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'm going to get my pen and my paper. Okay. <laughs> pen, lid off. Great. And some paper. Oh, we're ready to start drawing. We are. So firstly, we need to draw a giant foot. Okay, so here we go. Big toe. One. What's the biggie? Two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Round. Massive foot. Massive is a biggie. It's a biggie. Oh, there we go. Big foot. Big toenails. Okay. Giant toenail. One. Two. Three. Three. Four, four, five. five. That's a massive foot. You couldn't find a shoe for a foot that big. <laughs> you certainly couldn't. Okay, so draw two circles on either side of your feet, and I'll explain to you why that is a bit later. Great. Okay, so next, get your colouring equipment, your pens and crayons, and decorate your feet. Oh, well, well I love colouring in, as you know, and so does Joe, don't you, Joe? <laughs> yeah, well, you can colour yours in spotty, stripy, or even full of stars. <laughs> you certainly can. So enjoy your colouring and your decorating. Once you've done that, get your scissors and carefully cut around oh. your foot. Carefully, carefully around the toes, all around the edges, and also carefully cut two holes on either side well, of the foot. Some people might struggle with using scissors because they're quite difficult, so don't be afraid to ask an adult for some help with the cutting out. Absolutely. I'm going to show you the ones I have made earlier. Oh, here we go. There's one for you, Argy. Oh, spotty. And here's another foot for me. Oh. Now, as you can see, I've decorated mine with spots and I've carefully cut around my feet and put two holes on either side. Oh, yeah. So what you need to do next is cut a piece of string about 20 centimetres long and insert it into the hole of the foot. Can you see I've already done one here? So put it through the hole and tie a double knot. So I'll demonstrate with this side. So it's easy when you give it a little bit of a lick. Okay. Pop it through the hole. I can see it coming through. Yep, that's it. Now pull the string through so it's quite tight. You can put your hand in there. Great. And then tie a double knot. So here we go. One knot and, whoops, here we go. It's a little bit fiddly. Double knot. There okay, you go. Great. So here you go. You'll be able to put your foot in that later. Oh, like on. a slipper. Like a slipper. Oh, we're Very ready to cool. show our final giant's foot, nearly, aren't we? Well, before we show you our final feet, we oh. do need a drum roll. But before that, we need to go to puzzle time. So let me get my TV remote. Okay. TV remote, and go to puzzle time. <laughs> Guess the instrument. Drums. Guitar. Saxophone. Hi, welcome back. Did you enjoy puzzle time? I know I did. Well, I'm extremely excited right now because it's time for the reveal of our amazing giant's feet. Drum roll, please. Oh, oh, ping. Here we go. A beautiful foot of a giant with red, orange, yellow, green, and blue toenails. Amazing stuff, Anna. <laughs> Absolutely. Archie, I've even made you a pair. 
Oh, these ones are made of card and they've got stars, they've got orange toenails and they've even got a beautiful electric bolt down there. <laughs> so if we want to see your giants free, send them in via Insta or Twitter or our website at Anna Bruder. Can't wait to see them. See you soon everyone. Bye! It's Anna and RG's room covers!